what inspired you to use vintage diamonds or diamonds in their raw state for your collection? Um, started using vintage diamonds. Well, I started first using raw diamonds, but for it to be sustainable, there was raw diamonds that were getting thrown away, basically. <laughs> so this is, the, this is the problem. You know, basically, white diamonds were the most important thing. Still are the most important thing. And a lot of color diamonds don't have any um, white areas, or they don't have any sections that are pure or clear. Um, are industrial grade, but a lot of industrial grade is actually being made you know, by industry. So a lot of these diamonds were just sort of getting chucked or set aside. So we started using them. Um, nowadays, the raw diamonds are very popular. So we started using uh, recycled vintage diamonds. Again, mm -hmm. trying to be sustainable. Um, yeah. Trying to use, reuse things that were already out there, already beautiful, but that were getting sort of like stuck on a shelf. Okay, and I know you have a necklace that's inspired by New York, the craziness of New York. Right. What other inspirations um, are, make appearances throughout the collection? Um, I, I, don't, I don't know, that's a difficult one. I just I sort of default to nature because I always look at curves, I always look at this sort of subtle shadow between white on white, you know, gray on gray. I like the subtle things, mm -hmm. and, you know, so when I come to like the city, I was here last week and I was snapping all kinds of pictures of all these great mosaic tile stuff down at oh, the metro yeah, station. Right? Yes, got all yeah. this hot kind of like tile work in the metro. So, and you know, that really inspired me. I came home and did a whole collection mm -hmm. thinking about those bricks and how those words and letters laid in the bricks. Mm -hmm. and I thought it was really beautiful. So, this collection I was um, you know, thinking about when I was in Brooklyn uh, recently and then, uh, looking over at Manhattan and it made me feel like you know, these little line drawings, these <laughs> yeah. things that were happening. So, but that's very natural, you know, it's just sort of the nature of things that gets me going. Okay. And what can we expect from this raw diamond or diamonds in the raw collection? The aesthetic uh, of your design. Yeah, just a lot more, you know, I mean, I'm designing like crazy. This is, I'm, this is my 22nd year of doing this work and I feel, I mean, feel like I'm just getting started right now. So, you know, so in terms of designing, <laughs> expect tons of great stuff. Actually, my jewelry's getting bigger again. I was started, my jewelry was really big for a long time, and then it got small, because things got small. Okay. Yeah, you know, things sort of, things got small. Yeah. And stuff. Exactly. And it just got tiny. And then I followed that. I was really sort of bummed with myself about that. I I wouldn't follow that, and I did. And our stuff got kind of small. And so now, as you see, like, I, you know, big, huge earrings. Yeah. And did you see those shield earrings? And yeah. <laughs> you know, long, chunky, big pendants, you know. Really excited about that, and then our um, uh, bridal collection is yeah, alternative beautiful. bridal. We're really into the alternative bridal scene right now. We're thinking that there's a lot of people that aren't getting what they want, aren't getting their needs met, traditional yeah. uh, bridal. So we created the alternative. Um, so we're really excited about that too. Awesome. And now one quick question: If you had to choose between a perfectly clear white diamond or an absolute gorgeous black diamond in its raw state. Which would you choose? Uh, I'd always take the raw black diamond. <laughs> so unique. A black diamond is incredibly unique. Natural black. Very, very rare. Unfortunately, I see a lot of white diamonds out there. I know I can always get another one. Get That's true. a white diamond. Exactly. You always go for the more rare one. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Todd. Yeah, it was nice speaking you. with you. Yeah.